My name is Eric Shelley. I'm an impeachment activist. Almost every day I stand on street corners with a sign urging people to impeach the President of the United States. I have done this in Redford, Royal Oak, Ferndale, Livonia, and many other local communities. I've had considerable contact with police, but the only ones to tell me to stop have been in Southfield. Actually, Farmington Hills told me to move along, but the reason they cited was the ticket I received in Southfield. On April 22, 2008, Southfield police ticketed me. Officer Stevenson confiscated my signs and told me that if I did it again, I would be arrested. He cited earlier complaints from this activity at the intersection of 12 Mile and Southfield Roads. In both instances, I was told that I was obstructing traffic. I contend that they were responding to complaints that I was displaying a message that some in the community found objectionable. When I was walking around the intersection of 12 and Southfield with my sign, police would often stop and tell me that I would be ticketed for crossing the street too slowly, but I was never fined. They told me it had nothing to do with the sign, but rather the way I crossed the street. I returned and crossed the street the same way with a ham sandwich. No one called police. Similarly, I now stand accused of obstructing traffic without crossing the street at 12 Mile and Telegraph Roads. Magistrate Stanfield Spink said in an informal hearing that drivers are expected to avoid potential hazards and in being extraordinary, drivers may interpret me as a hazard. But as this video shows, drivers on Telegraph are not alarmed by the sight of a man standing on the side of the road and do not react with alarm when they see a move. I did not pose a danger by standing on the side of the road on April 22nd, nor did I cause any undue congestion of traffic that day. If anything, Officer Stevenson may have created an even greater distraction by parking in the intersection as he observed my behavior. Furthermore, other officers parked in the intersection and on the median. I was threatened with arrest, but it is unclear what I've done wrong. Officer Duville told me that the sidewalk was city property, not public property, but he could not define the difference. Officer Stevenson asked if I thought I was doing any good. Clearly, the actions of these officers were not intended to protect the public, but to restrict my constitutionally protected right to free speech. I request that this charge be dismissed. I request that my property be returned without delay. And furthermore, I request that the Southfield Police be instructed to disregard requests to stifle dissent, as that is not their job. Thank you. Eric Shelley.